Hello everyone, thanks so much for joining us on another Las Vegas home tour. My name is Jake Burkett with Real Broker. As always, we appreciate you watching. Please always subscribe, please comment, please like. If you have any questions about any of the homes we are featuring or, or how to buy or sell a house in Las Vegas, you can always give us a call at 702-493-1934. You can also email us at info at jvrelv.com or you can visit our website www.jakeburkettrealestatelv.com. All right, so let's get to it. So where are we at today? We are in section 10. So for those of you that do not know what Section 10 is, Section 10 is an area in Las Vegas built in the 70s and 80s that is known for having pretty much all half acre and, uh, and bigger lots that are all custom homes. So usually no two homes look alike, right? So this is just kind of a view down the street, no HOA, just it's a really sought after neighborhood. And this house we're gonna look at today was built in 1977. It's been fully renovated. And without further delay, let us go take a look. So of course we walk up here, you can see it has the normal block wall that's been stuccoed and painted over. Um, during the rehab process, you can see that they added some metal work with some wood two by sixes in between. Just gives it a nice look to the whole house. So you'll see that all around the house here on the outside. All right, let's go take a look inside. You can see there is RV parking on this house. So if you had a boat, RV, Vehicles you wanted to stash behind this RV gate, you can easily do that. Panning across the front of the house, you can see there is no garage in this house, but what it does have is this three car um, covered patio. So if you wanted to, you know, you, could, you got a structure here, you could easily put some windows there or close up those sides and probably even add some garage doors without too much difficulty. There is power ran in there. It is all lit up at night. And yeah, it's just kind of the front of the house. All right, so today we've got 2,420 square feet with an additional 562 feet of guest quarters, four bedrooms, single story, let's go. All right, so we walk into the house and this is, uh, I guess we'll just call this the great room. So traditionally there'd be no wall or anything in the great room but here we have a fireplace a functional wood fireplace and so we're just going to kind of pan around here and take a look and we're going to jump right right into the kitchen so you've got the kitchen you've got the sitting room right here of course you got the fireplace the opening on the right is a wood storage so you wouldn't actually burn firewood in there but this one is a wood burning fireplace and you'll notice the tile work on the fireplace here. You got a nice little mantle. And that same tile work is incorporated in different areas of the floor throughout the house. Got nice wood, or excuse me, gold kind of bronze trim on the house. See that in a lot of homes nowadays. All right, so first impressions of the kitchen is it's really wide open. There's a ton of counter space. It has this massive center island, which has uh, drawers and cupboards all over it. Not exactly sure what kind of stone this is it's like some sort of marble i'm not sure if you know exactly what this is I'll comment i'd love to love to hear it of course i do not know everything um, and I'm, I'm well aware of that all right we have a quartz countertop here on the back side so it's man-made stone got some nice black splash there like i said lots of cabinets let's see if they're soft shut all right there we go soft shut cabinets now we do have a gas uh, stove uh, oven over here. It's got a skillet in the center. Got your oven right there. Got your dishwasher. It's got a hood. Here's kind of panning out, looking at the house. Got some nice lights hanging down right here. A big sink. Got your fridge right there. And the formal dining room. And this would be like another sitting room. Probably this would be your formal sitting room. And over here would be more of your Kind of living room, right? So this kind of gives you an idea how the house looks, this first entry point area. It's really nice and wide open. So I do want to point out, we do have a washroom right off the kitchen. So your friends are hanging out, whatever it is, you got a nice little washroom right here. And across from that, you have a pantry, nice big one. And then you have an additional storage room right here, which is where your washer and dryer would go. And this house does have a tankless hot water heater. So that what that is, Camplex boxes on the wall. That's what a tankless hot water heater looks like if you haven't seen one. 
All right, so we're gonna go check out the guest quarters. This is, I believe, what did I say? 562 square feet, so it's right here. You can see it's got its own living room, and also what you're gonna notice, so like I said, built in 77, all these can lights, all these halo lights that are in the ceiling throughout every single room did not come with the house. They've been put in, bravo, bravo to the contractor who renovated it. Light is always a good thing. All right, this door right here. Get your own entrance, so if you had people staying here and need to come and go by themselves, they can come and go by themselves and not disturb the rest of the house. Okay. Couch, could easily just put a TV up on the wall. Got a little table there. Um, moving over here, you have a door that leads into the bedroom area. It's got a nice bedroom here. Cute, more lights. And this is the bathroom. So you got a nice little floating cabinet there. Floating, that means it's off the floor. Got a little above ground mount, funky do little new sink, custom mirror lights, and the tile in the shower, you're gonna see in all the bathrooms. So it's a nice big walk-in glass shower. All right, let's go check out the rest. Okay, heading down the hallway, we're gonna get into the uh, primary and secondary bedrooms. Secondary bedrooms are normal, pretty standard. Got a nice closet, got lights, got natural light. This one looks very much the same as that one, so we won't spend too much time in it. Here's another washroom. See that tile, right? Familiar looking sink, floating sink, mirror. And then here you have your full bathroom for the secondary bedrooms. Got a shower tub. Same tile back wall, and you have a singular sink right there, custom mirror, floating cabinets. Those are kind of cool how they're opened up like that. And then, of course, you got the bathroom behind that little wall there. So, this is the primary bedroom nice and big, natural lights, nice big window there behind the bed. You could change the configuration if you wanted to. Got a big walk in closet right here, it's ready for clothes. So you know someone who wants to be in section 10, it's a great house. Got these two French doors that lead into a great backyard, which we're gonna go check out in just a second. And then here is the primary bathroom. So same tile, big walk around shower. Two different sinks uh, from the rest of the house, above ground mounts, got a floating cabinet, lights, mirrors. So a lot of the same things. All right, I'm gonna show you an office in the background. Stick with me. Before we head outside, if you are the work from home type, here you got an office. Could make a small gym, craft room. Could easily wall that off, put a door on it, French door, whatever you want. It's right here off the, uh, the, the great room, living room area. So we do have some renderings for a pool. So let's just use your imagination a little bit. Kind of show you all three, give you three little different angles. And we'll go outside and let our imagination run wild, shall we? All right, so we're outside. Got a covered patio with more lights on it, which is great, of course. Got a nice big, big concrete area over here. Some natural trees. You can see the little elevation drop from the first half of the backyard to the second half. Over here, this is where that pool was set up for those renderings, right? And yeah, just a whole big area back here. You could do a lot with it. So I can see plumbing. This house used to have a pool. So there's some plumbing here. Pretty sure that's for a pool. I could be wrong. So if I'm wrong, don't crucify me, all right? Okay, well, hey, that pretty much does it. Give you a little view of the back end of the house here. Thanks so much. Again, we're in Section 10, it's a custom home, no HOA on a half an acre, uh, four bedrooms plus an office. Thanks so much for joining us. I always appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. We will continue to put out these videos. If you need to, contact us, 702-493-1934. Email info at jbrelv.com. Visit our website, www.jakeburkettrealestatelv. And I hope you have a fantastic, fantastic day. Thanks so much.